Okay, hi you. I hope you're having a really nice day. As you can see, we're taking a visit to the Essentia Sisters today. Now, the ladies have been busy since uh, we were last recording. I often do this in The Sims. I, I turn off the opportunities. I put their free will really high. I turn off the opportunities because of the pop-ups you get for that all the time, which stops the game until you've dealt with them. So that lessens the pop-ups, and I give the girls really high free will, or my players high free will. And then I just go away from keyboard and see what they're going to do with their lives. And I often do that early in the game and just sort of find out who the, the, the characters are going to be. So these two ladies have made some decisions. And holy cow, wait one second, are, where are the cats? This is one of our cats, and it's not it's not indoors <laughs> even if we have it set to be unlike locked for the cats apparently that isn't going to work I don't know where these guys are or how they get in and out has anybody else noticed that look look there's a cat over there there's absolutely no way to keep these little blast buggers lo like inside anything. You lock everything, you put gates, and the other one, see the black one he's out to. I, I, I don't know. Don't know why, don't know how they do, but they do it over and over and over again. So let's put this back up, try one more time. <laughs> For all the good it ever does me. <laughs> And you, dear lady, look like you might need to... Oh, you don't need to feed them. They just left the country, so they weren't able to eat outside. Okay, so as I was saying, the girls have made some decisions on their own. Uh, they have gone out here, and I, I did give them both jobs. I just picked the first sort of things I could find, and I thought at least they'll be making some money, hopefully, while I'm gone. You set the alarm clock, you do whatever. They've actually done really well, at least both in their own ways. Uh, Morgana has managed to get a couple of points in Celebrity, and I'll be honest, I don't even have a clue how or why. She must have been talking to the right people on days when she went wandering on her own. Um, she was in the medical profession, and with a little bit of help back and forth on, on from me, of course, I've helped them out, and then I leave and let them play again, and then I come back and help them out. But she has actually reached level 10 in the medical profession, and when she's not doing that, she's working on spells, she's cutting rocks, uh, she's been doing a fair bit of research in alchemy. I mean, not as much as I would like on her own, but, well, you know what? She's halfway through. That's not bad, considering she's pretty much did it on her own. Marin, Marin was a different case. Marin never went to work, and I think she got fired. Because <laughs> I'd come in and check, and it was like, you're missing work, and, and she'd be painting and things like that, which didn't turn out to be a bad thing. Oh, that would look like it's going to be nice. Um, she ended up reaching, as you can see, her lifetime wish. I worked with her until she mastered the writing skill, and I didn't record that for you guys because a girl sitting at the computer going like this till she's exhausted and going to bed and then getting up and doing it again just didn't seem like the most exciting thing in the world, so I thought I'll, I'll just work on that for a bit. And then the painting, she just took off with that on her own. As soon as I put the easel in, the girl was going. She works on that for fun at every available moment, and that's worked out pretty well. So she's actually managed to get her lifetime wish. Um, yeah, she's been doing some other things on the sly, this girl. And I'm going to show you a family that you haven't met yet. And they live next door. And this is the Demonac family. Um, that's their house. A little bit grim, a little bit creepy. But the Demonacs are vampires. Now they do have a live-in maid who, or not a maid, well a live-in person. I guess, who, you know, if you go by, what's the thing on the TV? Uh, the Vampire Diaries. Apparently in that lore, um, having a live person in the house means that another vampire can't enter without permission. So that's probably never a bad idea. But more importantly, on a hungry day, if you don't want to go out or the sun's shining, you have a snack on hand. So that's the next door neighbors. That is one family of the many that I want to create who is now in this game. And apparently, dear Marin, 
has just made friends next door. More than friends. Dear Marin is gotten all tight in with Lilith Ann Demonac. She knows she's a great kisser. I wonder how she found that out. Oh my God. <laughs> and you'll notice they're girlfriends. When I first started, you know, when I came back in and was playing, they were, they were doing really well. They were great friends. They hadn't quite reached the girlfriend stage yet, but they have now. So the lady next door and Marin are an item. And one's a vampire. We get a vampire and a witch. I guess there won't be any babies from that union, um, so it'll be hard to find out how that's going to work out. But we still have Morgana, and I think I'm going to have to force Morgana to look for a guy because I wanted to create some sort of little dynasty here, and Marin has other ideas. So that's cool. Now we've got this weird little building in back because I was having a problem with the alchemy station. Um, basically it didn't work, it was plain and simple. Did a lot of reading online and found some weird things like if your wand is next to it and if you move the wand that'll work. Um, a lot of people said if I moved mine outside it worked. So I made this little building and of course as soon as they put the alchemy station in it with a nice big pile of books it started to rain and that just seemed totally wrong. But it didn't matter because it didn't work anyway. Uh, everything I found in, in online I tried over and over and I moved this thing around and you'll notice the room has gotten bigger and I was moving things and it wasn't fun for you guys to watch or at least I wouldn't think so and it, it was just you know me being a noob and nothing working and yay I'm having a really good time but the bottom line is there were some seeds special seeds in my inventory list and when I put those in the refrigerator the alchemy station started working I I don't know whatever it works who cares but it was a process it was a bloody pain in the neck trying to find out how that was going to work so our girls have, have created some success in their lives um, Marin is writing and you notice the little pop-up here a moment ago she's gotten you know She's got some royalties coming in from these books. I think that's absolutely fabulous. Uh, Morgana is a, a surgeon, doesn't work too much, gets paid, paid great amounts of money, comes home, works on alchemy. Marin kind of plays with magic. She really doesn't seem to do anything with it. She's not trying to convert anything. She's not working on alchemy. She likes to make these pretty lights that are going on, and that, that seems to be about the end of it for her. And here I have left a little kiss for luck right there in the middle. Tiberius, I'm sorry, you're in my face. Go away. And I apologize for that. I wonder how many months it's going to take me to get some of these right. <laughs> oh, look, I made another mistake. Oh, my God. I mean, you guys are awesome. Thank you for your patience. You're brilliant, wonderful, kind people. <laughs> okay, Marin, why don't you come over here? We have green things floating all over the fridge, and you know that's not good. See, Morgana's out there working it. This girl is always trying to do something. It doesn't always work very well, but she's always trying to do something. And Marin's just going to stand there, I guess because Morgana's in her way. Okay, so a shower, great idea. Get rid of the old bladder problem. Anything in the mail? Nope. One of the first things I did, and, and I generally do when they have enough, um, like a lifetime happiness rewards, is I got no bills ever because I am horrible for remembering to go out there and check the mail, and then something disappears and everybody gets depressed, and you know that's so good. So, this girl's just working away at something. Sweetie, I'm going to send you back here to pick up the rock in the backyard. She has made so much money collecting things. Look at this flower. I had no idea this was like this. Look at this flower. The Indian blanket thing here. $400 for a, a, a weed. Yay. I love it. I think that's awesome. But she picks up rocks. She's cutting them. Okay, smoky quartz isn't so brilliant, but... Um, it's working out. It's working out really good. She's making pots and pots of money like this. I have never had such an easy an easy time making money in this game as just collecting things and um, and cutting them, doing various doodahs with them. 
running around picking up flowers, collecting bugs, which apparently are used in some kind of alchemy potions. Mm. <laughs> you know that's going to be good. Uh, what's in here? We have another rock. You can cut that one. Sure. Collection helper. See, I bought that and I didn't know where it was and I don't even know what it is. What it's going to do. We're going to sell this stuff. We probably need all of these things for something down the line, but... So what is this? Is it a thing? Well, okay. <clears throat> Bad question. Of course it's a thing. <laughs> I'm so smart. Um, and where's that other thing we just got? A moonstone. Look at this! $3,955. Cutting rocks. Okay, this is brilliant. I'm sure there's some good reason for keeping moonstones, but right now I'm thinking money is nice. And as you can see, we've been able to expand the bedrooms a little bit. The cats have got some awesome new houses. Um, this is a picture created by Marin herself. She's doing a nice job. This one looks like it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I'd be glad to see it finished. But right now, Marin, I really think you need to clean out the grad, darling. And I guess you didn't take a shower. And then later we'll have her girlfriend, we'll have Lilith Ann come over and you can you can see her. And maybe next time out we'll pop next door and um, have a look at that house. At the, um, the Demonac family. Oh, I bought um, Tomb Raider. You know, which one is this? Okay, there are two Donnie... Tawny, wow, Tawny Davenports in this game. One is the paparazzi. The other, the other seems to have hots for Morgana. They're, they're old friends. She's in the medical field too, although she's clearly not progressing as fast. She is a bedpan cleaner. But she calls and she drops by and she sends, you know, chats saying, we're made, what's your sign? We're made for each other. So both these girls want, seem to want to enter on their own, you know, if I left them to choose, they would be both entering into um, lesbian relationships. But if we're going to have babies, I suppose we could adopt, but I mean, does the adoption work the same way if, if we have a witch and a vampire and they adopt? Will the child have any relationship to what they are, or will it be human? Will it be, you know, whatever? I don't, I don't know how that works. And I had kind of wanted to see how the dynasty would go, so not really sure if I'm going to, to let Morgana pursue her interest in Tawny Davenport, or if we're going to, you know, be rigid and proper and force her into a proper relationship. Okay, look at the freaking cat. What is this, kitty? How do we do kitty, kitty, kitty? Kitty, go to help. Kitty. Reinforcement, scold for being destructive. Yes, trashing the house is not a good thing. You know, we almost adopted another cat and then <laughs> these were enough trouble. Thank you very much. Okay, sweetie, you gotta go to bed. You're tired, you're exhausted, I'm sorry. Go do it, darling. And that is one problem with this job. And you know, she's done so well getting, you know, just flying to work. She was always going to work. I didn't have to push her. She was taking care of things on her own. She would come home and, and play with her magic. Um, she really was kind of an ideal character. She was really doing some cool things. And now that she's, you know, at level 10, that's as good as you get. And if I can't lose, if I, you know, have her quit, you're going to lose all that. And that kind of sucks. On the other hand, she's making so much money playing with magic. I don't know. I don't know if it's even required that she keeps this job. But for now, a little while longer, we'll let her take it. Now you are probably chatting, doing things, but you were working on 
Switchy love. She wanted to write a romance. I guess she fell in love with the vampire. So we're writing Switchy love. Paint a portrait. Oh yeah, I guess she's reached a point where you can, um, you know, use her phone or something or zoom in on things and, and take portraits and things like that. That'd be fun. Yeah, what was I saying before I was so rudely interrupted? I bought Tomb Raider. Or maybe I just thought to tell you and I didn't get around to it. But I bought Tomb Raider the other night, uh, a couple nights ago, the, the pre-release version. It looks brilliant. Oh man, I cannot wait. As soon as it comes out, I will download it that day. Actually, when is it? It's being released on March 5th, which is a Tuesday. And I would actually normally have that day off, but we've got a lot of people away at work and for the next month and a half my schedule is completely fried and I'm working overtime and I've got a lot of paperwork for another project. It's a computer game where I am the writer um, for the story and I've got a bunch of paperwork to fill out on that so probably, I don't know, will I get to play it the first day? If I do it'll have to be the first night. It'll have to be Tuesday night. It, it won't be that morning. Because I would normally have Tuesday off and I was crazy excited. I bought it. I thought I'm going to just make sure it's downloaded first thing in the morning and I'm going to play Tomb Raider all day. I was I was really hyped. And unfortunately, there's no way I can even call in sick and not go. Things I have been known to do for special occasions before, but I'm not going to do that now. If some of you um, on the channel you see over on the side, there's a kissforluck.net. If you go there, brand new site. There's only a few pages up. There's not a whole lot going on, but... I mean, I will be adding to it. I'm, I'm a little more comfortable with web design than I'm creating YouTube videos, so um, I'm sure there'll they'll be regular regular information being added there. And uh, I did write up a, a little a little thing, you know, about turning 55 and the way I've been seeing my life and stuff like that in terms of games and computers and what it is I want to do. And um, anyway, I, I did tell a little story in there about. Um, like the the day Lord of the Rings was released. I mean, the first showing here was at 12 noon, and I was teaching. I was teaching computer programming at the time, and they wouldn't they wouldn't give me the day off. And it was like, dude, it's the Lord of the Rings, and they said, you can't you you can't just you know take a day off. Um, you have a class, so I arranged for a field trip, and I took my whole class to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> You know, they're computer people, right? Clearly, there there would be benefit to going to, you know, a geeky movie. <clears throat> I mean, God, it's Aragorn. Dude, it's Aragorn. I had to go. I was not going to miss it. But I can't do that on Tuesday, March 5th, for Tomb Raider, because there is literally nobody else to take my place. And I think shutting down the business for the day is probably pushing it just a little too far. Very, very unfortunate. <laughs> oh God, it's been a long day. Okay, this is after work, my first unwind here. I'm tired. And this is how I unwind. So instead of doing it by myself, I thought I would share it with you. So where is Morgana? Okay, she's finally heading home on her little broomstick. The first time I saw that, I thought, oh my god, that is so cute. And she's exhausted, so sweetie, just go back to sleep. We can crank this up real fast. And let morning come. Our horse just gave birth. We'd love for you to adopt one. We have room for a horse? We could do a horse. Oh my God. Okay, that would be kind of cool. So I'm guessing that's in City Map. See, we still don't have too many things going on here. And that's over here. Neighborhood Pet Adoption. Hmm. I do have one other family started somewhere. I don't know where. This is just the downtown stuff. I did put in a house. Oh, right here, this family. Now, Civ rules is clearly what this says, um, but in our game, we're calling it the Civ Roulet family, and I gave them all French names. So I thought that was kind of fun. 
And Civ Rules, you know who you are. You're one of those wonderful early people that convinced me that I could be doing this without being, you know, too horribly, horribly frightened. Okay, go do your job. You are doing fine. You know what? Let's finish this. I want to see what it's going to look like. That looks kind of interesting. Big splash of color. Okay, it went into nothing. It's just a big splash. Oh, or a flower. Maybe it's like a pansy straight on. It's kind of pretty, actually. Maybe I should keep this one. What's it worth? <gasps> Over $2,000. Hmm. See, it's hard to know if you should keep that or get rid of it. We'll keep it for a while. If we need some money, we'll sell it then. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Switchy love. Actually, you know what? We should call. Oh, no, it's during the day. See, the one problem with her girlfriend is when she comes over during the day, she starts kind of smoking and steaming in the sunlight. So maybe not the best choice to call her over in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> <coughs> oh, and this girl loves to clean. She just loves to, she lives to clean, which is great because I haven't had to hire a maid as a result. So. So I figured with the girls, you know, they've, they've got $68,000. That's not terrible. It's really easy to spend that much money when you've actually started, um, you know, start rebuilding a house or, you know, adding paddocks for a horse. <laughs> She's also our resident handyman. I figured, you know, check, if you're not going to work, you're going to quit your job. You're always late. Morgana's barfing. Oh. Okay, why? Now the only time in the other games I've played where the girls started throwing up, they were pregnant. But to my knowledge, Morgana has never had that sort of relationship with anybody. See, the, this one, a romantic interest, again, she's going for the girls. How would she have gotten pregnant? So maybe it's got to be something else. Um. <clears throat> An exquisite beast of trout was found by Morgana while dumpster diving? That's how she got sick. Okay, so you can't let her out alone. <laughs> Class act, lady. That's, that's good. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's go dumpster diving. Oh, and you have another one in here. Pick up your little rocks. Anyway. So, got to do something with that yard at some point. But I figure I'm going to let them run some, you know, work up some more money first. Because it just, it's so easy to spend that much, man. Like the house next door cost, you know, I don't know, three or four hundred thousand dollars to build and, and furnish. And I don't even think it's, I finished furnishing it yet. I think the upstairs, the uh, little tower there on the one side, I don't think there's any furniture in that yet. Oh my goodness, girl, life is just it's messing you up. Go back and fix it, and then clean up your puddle. Morgana gets to go to bed because Morgana has a job. You don't have a real job. You just stay home and clean everything and write best-selling novels and write painting and, and create paintings that are worth, you know, thousands of dollars. But no, that's not a real job. <laughs> And she's tired. Okay, what does this say? Worth 2025 I bet we can do that. So we'll speed this up. Let the ladies sleep for a minute. Oh, well, she's just lost a friend. When you work all the time, when you practice magic all the time, and you don't actually have a girlfriend or boyfriend, you just managed to reach one person who was an interest, and I don't even know how that happened. I don't know if they worked together. Um, who's this? Evan Noble, not a clue. <clears throat> oh, he's so frustrated, let me in, let me in. Oh, we have mail. It's probably a copy of a book or something. 
<clears throat> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to Tomb Raider. And there was something else on Steam that was free to play um, until until Sunday. God, I can't think of what it was now. I remember just seeing it quickly and going, ooh, that looks like fun. But I don't know what it was. So you, darling, you have to work today in three hours. So why don't you go take care of that? Okay, let's slow this down. I can't even watch them that fast. And then has some veggie rolls, which reminds me, I am starving. I have not eaten since this morning. What to have for dinner? Veggie rolls would be good, but I don't have any. <laughs> a lot of time is read five. E She's been spending a lot of time at the bookstore. See, I didn't know that either. Maybe that's where she met the vampire, Lilith? Look, there's a horse in the front yard. Okay, the other night I was in here and this whole herd of horses comes galloping by and I thought, that's why I picked this town. <laughs> <laughs> that is just yay I love it that is awesome so she wants to learn to ride oh no she just wants to watch a wild horse there's another one look at this gypsy vanner too that's lovely yeah maybe we'll give them horses later the horses are kind of fun I like making them I'll make a family with horses that's what I'll do okay why don't you go back and continue your painting now with her lifetime rewards, I did get um, the things that, where are we here? We've got no bills ever, cause yeah. Acclaimed author, which helps tremendously. Extra creative for the paintings is brilliant. And speedy cleaner, cause that's what she does all the time. Oh, we got Mona Lisa going on here, nice. Look at this, sort of. Mona Lisa in Tropico. <laughs> I love it. I mean, the girls are doing good. They're doing okay. So we're, I think, you know, we're going to, um, I, like I said, I always put high free will and I set the game so that their lives will continue when I'm not playing them. So I'll go play another, um, the, the family next door, the vampires, get to know them a little bit because I've really, I've created them. I built the house, don't know anything about them yet. So we're going to have to check them out. The Siverley family, we're going to have to go check them out. I think we'll spend a lot of time traveling with them, you know, taking them back to France. Because clearly they would miss being there. Okay, that's actually kind of pretty. I haven't seen this picture before. It's kind of nice. I'm going to need bigger walls to hang all her paintings. This is awesome. And I, I know I mentioned before uh, something about the... Um, the Felinius family, you know, a, a family of cat people that were cursed and now they're werewolves. <laughs> so do I give them dogs as pets or cats as pets? <laughs> I haven't figured that one out yet. I don't know what to do. You have an opinion. We have the Felinius family. They are an ancient race of cat people who really commune with their cats and they would normally have a lot of cats around and they have been cursed. Oh yes, they have been cursed for something that somebody did that was clearly horrible to a gypsy king and he had his his resident um you know fortune teller or whatever cast a curse on him you gotta watch those gypsies <laughs> which is really funny considering yeah anyway another story um so we're going to have them um they've been cursed and they're going to be werewolves which is you know completely opposite of what they would want to be of course so will they have dogs as pets or will they have cats as pets Actually, I think that that's, I want your votes. I want to see how you feel about it. Tell me what you want and or send me a message in um, on the, you know, through the, the private message, whatever, through the YouTube inbox or post a comment, but we'll figure that out later. So for now, I'm going to let these girls continue on their little lives here. And I am going to pop over here and do the little like sub thing with Tiberius Luck in it. He's such a helpful person. He's always trying to be there for me. And um, yes, if you liked any part of this, if you want to see some more, please hit the like button. Remember to do that. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Tell your friends. And please remember how very much I appreciate your support. 
and live your life happy and please build it beautiful.